was just a typical forsaken night. Too much liquor, and my unconscious body sprawling across the desk. What a sight. Fortunately, there was no one to see it. No one who cared. Alive, at least. Once a superstar detective, now society's deadweight. Relic rotting in a world of cyber geezers. Losing work to Oggs, hackers, and robocops. No jobs. No money. No friends. It could have been worse. I had lied to myself. At least they didn't sell my soul to some cyber medic mumbo jumbo. But Lady Death was already at my doorstep. I could feel it in my gut. All I had to do is wait a little longer. I slid open the drawer on the right side of my desk. Long use had worn the handle to welcome my fingers. What at first glance looked like a rat's nest was actually a pile of overdue bills and eviction notices. They'd make a nice fire starter. I shifted the papers around to see if they were hiding anything interesting. Something solid and heavy slammed against the inside of the drawer. Easy, fuckface. A familiar voice spoke inside my head. Familiar? Now that's just slow. First you leave the hottest sparkling you ever could have dreamed of for another broad, and now this? <laughs> so damn it, Cooper. Buddy, bro, we weren't just partners. We were one, bound in blood, kicking asses and taking names. Oh. Partner, yeah. You made it sound dirty. It's what I do, dumbass. You will remember that if you didn't fucking betray me. But I'm a forgiving type, so uh, here's an offer. Take me for a ride, like you once did, you pathetic sob. Wield me like the majestic, badass, death-dealing tool should be wielded. Own it! I shoved the papers aside to get a better look. It was my old service weapon. <laughs> a TT-88. Automatic. Black as the underworld's basement. What did you expect? A tiny girl living in your desk drawer? <laughs> I holstered her. I could use the company. Cells of my palm celebrated the reunion with the lost phantom limb. Oh, yes. I'm thirsty, Daddy. Let's get you a drink, then. Those are the words a girl longs to hear. Jerry-rigged utility-class Augs burst through my office door. He was... 
I didn't take any chances. I drew my gun. Stay right there, and let me see those hands. Please, no shoot, shoot, Mr. Cooper. But Let's be civilized here, Johnny Boy. This isn't gang turf anymore. We've got protocols to follow. <laughs> you broke into my apartment. That means I can shoot you where you stand. Less talking, more shoot shooting. Technically, it's not your apartment if you don't pay the tax. Technically, if I riddle you with lead, there's no one to collect the taxes, so... Let's keep it civilized, Johnny boy, okay? You call breaking and entering civilized? As I mentioned, it's not actually yours anymore, and protocol says that after an hour of knocking, we are obliged to break in and provide first aid, or arrange post-mortem recycling, depending. Keep running your mouth, and it's me who'll be doing the recycling. And I might not wait until you're dead. Hey, I don't like it either, but it's not my fault you don't have an honest job or that you're behind on your taxes. You got yourself into this, my friend. Now be a man and face the consequences. Don't take it out on a couple of working stiffs. Oh, he liked it. It's time to show them the old dance moves, partner. Separate the men from the red spatter on the walls. You can't be serious. This is the pit, not some old-timey western. Time to dish out the lead. Who's hungry? The big guy was jacked head to foot with cyber enhancements. But he still couldn't dodge a bullet. Then again, my beef wasn't with that lummox, strictly speaking. He's the bigger threat, though. Buzz, on the other hand, that clown was really working my nerves. Yes, one bullet might not drop the big guy, but let's give Buzz a gift and he'll never forget. I took a chance on the big guy. Hoping he wasn't bulletproof. Of course he's not! My piece coughed. Time stood still. A crimson flower bloomed on the big galoot's chest. Or maybe he is. Oops, then this is gonna hurt. He came at me like a speeding train. And you know what? I embraced it. The pain. The darkness. At least we didn't go down with it. Effective drinking was that she always came back. Those long legs were a real treat, though. She was the reason I started smoking and drinking. I have a job for you, Detective. The line that broke me. Forever. I have a job for you, Detective. the smoothest, longest, most scantily clad pair of legs I'd ever dreamed of. Mind-numbingly beautiful. I have a job for you, detective. You sure? <laughs> Don't look like one of my usual clients, miss. For the sake of this conversation, you can call me D. Uh, why only one D? I see, uh, two there, miss. You are playing with fire, detective. Well, you are hot. And I'll send you to hell if you don't shut up and listen. I can at least pretend. I made sure that your troubles with local tax collectors and their apish enforcers go away forever. 
I've also taken the liberty to pay all of your outstanding bills. I knew exactly what that meant. I've survived worse. <sighs> I'm giving you an opportunity. It's not easy negotiating with local law enforcement, especially when one of them has recently been shot. Luckily, they like creds much more than their colleagues. If I didn't intervene, you'd wake up in jail, or worse. I get it. You like me, but honestly, huh, you're not my type. She shuffled in that chair like that gorgeous tushy was on fire. I guess she... I didn't do it to help you. I did it so you can help me. You're a... Scary. So, what's the gig, Double D? A girl is missing. I want you to find her. A zoo visit for the rich uppers. Yes, she is curious about savage beasts like you. Tell me about this girl. Her name is Lucy, a class A plus citizen, seven years old. Wow, you didn't say she was only a kid. What? Seven decimal years, that's the equivalent of chronological 19. In fact, it was her 19th birthday. I thought you uppers had a bigger budget for this kind of emergency. We do. The best bullsack security was deployed moments after she went off the grid. That was at 9.10. Find out they haven't reported in yet. We suspect something happened to them. That's why we decided to hire a local. Find them. They might have discovered something. How do I find her? Here's a photo. Reconstructed moments before she went off the grid. She leaned forward, filling the straining fabric of her dress with her plump melon. My hormones jolted awake from a deep slumber. It was her turn to play. A standard, spoiled, rich upper cruster kid with green eyes and synthesized hair color. Match the iridescent blue behind her fragment. That was the point. <laughs> of course you don't. Do this job right, and you might even get a bonus. Got your back, partner. I holstered the gun. Fumes, synthetic tobacco, and any combination of the two. Ah, hello, hello! Welcome to my cart of wonders. Quality is always recognized. Aye. Ah, my friend, let me first interest you in my quality wares. You smoke, yes? <laughs> I have some nice pre-rolled homemade tobaccas, soul grown on the Cloud Islands. Special shipment, yes? I give it to you for a special price of 20 creds per box. I have a very special shipment of tobaccas just for you. Soul grown, pre-rolled, homemade, straight from Cloud Islands. Special price today only, 20 creds for a box. His relentless verbal bombardment was more than my brain could process. Thanks. I'm well stocked for now. Ah, you don't know what you're missing, my friend. Need something else? Perfumes? Some... Uh, not really. At least, let's focus on something else. Ah, but that's not how this thing works, brother. 
Come on, scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. It will be fun. Yeah, I'll scratch this moron's back real good. We'll talk later, Guza. You know where to find me, brother. I assure you. You've seen one pair of bouncers. Where do you think you're going? Ah, into this establishment, obviously. It doesn't work like that, Broski. Well, how does it work? Every customer needs a working nin pass or a guide. Ideally both. No exceptions. Lucky me. I'm a professional guide with completely functional, uh, NIN pass. Uh, coops? Hold still for validation. I don't register anything. Scanners jammed again. I'll call Xena. Who's Xena? Xena Chinky, our boss. What the hell, bro? You really never heard of the queen of the freaking underworld? You learn something new every day. Boss, could you wire in? I need a double check on a customer. For the last fucking time. Nothing's wrong with your scanner. One sec. Fuck him, he's invisible. NIN is fried or something. I can't even register him. You heard the bus. Fix your nin or find another guide. Couldn't be simpler. I... It was a gorgeous Vexter Nix Eclipse 3023. Nothing beats a good old manual. Hell yeah! You of course. For a moment I can... Gotta find that... 